I didn't go catch my bus. Usually on Sundays, I go to Whole Foods to get my calendar together, schedule my week, and just prepare for the week. Uh, so I like to take the bus out to Whole Foods. So um, I'm walking there right now. So um, I'll hit you back in a little bit. I almost missed the bus. She thought I was standing there waiting for another bus. So I had to run her down. It wasn't that far of a run, but I made it to the bus. Um, not that busy in here. So pretty much one of the only people on it. That's what I like. I like to take this time to just to relax and just focus. And I'm looking on, you know, look at some of the details and nuances of life that I don't get a chance to see because I'm sitting in front of my computer all day long. But while I'm here on the bus, I'm able to slow down, stop things, and just look at the everyday nuances. These are some of the, um, I always say that these are advantages, like these little nuances, advantages that when you're in a meeting, when you're in, um, you're, you're in war business-wise, these little things come up. You never know what you're going to see, what everyday life, the nuances, the mundane is gonna to bring to you unless you put yourself in positions. Most people will put themselves in a position to um, find those nuances. And that's gonna be the competitive edge, especially in the era of AI, where everything could be text to prompt, text to, well, text, text to AI, text to, uh, sorry text a video or text to text and using prompts being able to capture some of these nuances being able to capture the mundane or little things these are just little things that um can set you apart from the pack because humanity is going to win at the end of the day that's just the bottom line i believe that i'm very optimistic about the future um but i think you have to be willing to do certain things that you weren't willing to do before. And this is one of my practices. Um, to get myself, put myself in a position uh, to experience the mundane, to experience um, just everyday life outside of being in front of my laptop all this. I'm about to head, walk over to Whole Foods. So Whole Foods is not that far of a walk. Um, there's two buses. One bus is take one bus takes you straight to Whole Foods. The other one doesn't. I took the one that's called the Blue Line. But anyway, that's that's um, besides the point. But anyway, yeah, heading to uh, Starbucks right now. I mean, uh, Whole Foods right now. They're both green. That's why I, you know my mind signaled that. But what I what I you know what I try to think about is I have a few like minor things that I have to think about that I have to get done today, um, like rescheduling some meetings that I booked. I've double booked something. Also, um, I have one small project that I'm gonna work on and I wanna have out the door uh, by today. But uh, it's really light. Like I said, on Sundays, I just try to just get myself in a headspace um, just to think. I try to take that time as much as possible. Also, Right now, I get a chance to get some walks, some steps in too. So get the get, get the body moving. So by the time I get there, I'll grab myself a cup of coffee. Well, not coffee, latte or something hot. And I just start getting into what I have to get into. But it's a really light day. And um, just a few things I want to just get off of my plate so I can think really. Uh, I keep on calling it Starbucks. I don't know why I keep calling it Starbucks. I think it's this green that's signaling Starbucks. Maybe I need to go to Starbucks. Anyway, yeah, I made it here. I actually ended up getting a, um, a oat milk matcha latte. I'm turning it into my wife. She she uses oat milk. I'm, I'm experimenting with oat milk, trying to change things up a little bit. I normally get uh, a latte uh, coffee uh, with two espresso shots. That's what I usually get, but I'm changing things up. I'm trying to do make better decisions in terms of the quality of the milk that I'm doing. But yeah, I'm here right now. It's very quiet. It's unusually quiet here for some reason. It's usually packed around this, this lunchtime, but it's unusually quiet here. Um, so that's a good thing. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, um, I'm not knocking that. But yeah, so I usually, you know, just show you really quick. I usually try to write things down. I wasn't writing things down 
as much. One, one promise I made to myself that I'm never gonna stop writing with a pen. I'm never gonna stop writing with a pen. And there was a, a time period, maybe six, six months to a year, when I was just doing everything digitally um, and nothing analog. I wasn't writing anything down. And this, this year I had to shake out of it. Like, you know what? This is, this is tied to my humanity. Um, there's something about writing something down that it goes into your brain. It sticks. It retains the information that you're writing down. And I'm glad I got my practice back. Um, but I had to earn that thing back because it was hard because it's so convenient to uh, just Type it in your phone put it in your notes um, But going that extra step. I think it helps my clarity um, Out a lot clarity is, is, is key You know because we get we're getting so dumped with so much information and Processing that information and I think in another video. I'm gonna show you a tool and actually an AI tool that I use to help me process information really fast, get through my hurdles of like self-doubt or fear or whatever the case may be. Um, something that maybe that's toxic, that's lodging in my subconscious that I don't even see. Uh, there's an AI tool that I use. Uh, so, somewhere down the line, I'll share that. There's an AI tool that I use to help me get over those hurdles faster. Um, but with that said, I'm not gonna go down that rabbit hole too long. But I just wanted to just check in, let you know, I got my um, oatmeal latte. It looks pretty good, too. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Um, but yeah, so uh, yeah, I just finished up my work session. So I think I'm going to go get something to eat here. Um, oh, there I go. Yeah, I think I'm going to get a salad. Something to just put something in my belly really quick. And... Get back to, to eat it. outside. It's beautiful outside. Finally, we're starting to get the sun starting to shine a little bit. It's been really cloudy and raining and earthquakes here lately. But uh, here goes a glance at my salad. Some little little fuel to get my body going. But anyway, one of the things that I want to just point out as I just finished, you know, doing the project that I was working on. One of the things that's really, and I don't know if this will be helpful to you, but one of the things that's been really helpful to me is this idea of deep work. Uh, there's a book by the book by the name of Deep Work by Cal Newport, and he breaks down like if you want to do something great in life, you have to focus. I mean, and I'll be the first to admit I'm my own biggest distraction. Like I I am easily distracted by so many things, uh, but since I've been more intentional about doing deep work and really setting some time to lock in, things have been, you know. Ex accelerating faster than anticipated. Um, so what I do is I usually have uh, a, a timer. They're called Podoromo timers. It's like, it's a red tomato. And basically I set it for 25 minutes and I just lock in for those 25 minutes um, to get anything done that I think that is a uh, high priority. Um, and then the other thing that I do when you combine this four hours of deep work with AI, with artificial intelligence, helping you to brainstorm, come up with ideas. Um, all the, those two things combined have been exponential for my productivity. Because at the end of the day, we all don't want to be spending time working. <laughs> I know our identities are built around that, but that's not what we're here for. We're here to live life. But we do have to be productive. And the combination of these two things for me over the last 60, 90 days have been, have been crazy. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you. I'm about to eat. Um, I'm gonna enjoy my salad and I'll check Headed it out. home for the day. I think my bus is heading around the corner. I think it's right, right there coming here now. So um, heading home today was a light, it was a light day, but productive. Um, got a lot done. Feel like I'm going into the week with some momentum. And um, looking forward to sharing more with you uh, this week.